my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Chan Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be creating a seascape using this a lovely wooden frame that is 16 by 20 inches and as you can see I already prepared my rocks and my seabed so now I'm gonna start to add resin and this resin I'll be adding just a little bit uh, tint so the resin remains transparent and has a watery look so just going around little rocks and try to cover everything. Uh, in the beginning I was worried that I added sand uh, right in the very beginning and I was worried that pouring resin the sand is gonna kind of uh, move around and get distorted but no, pouring uh, nothing changed and that made me really happy. So here I think I mixed uh, roughly um, four, 450 milliliters, milliliters of resin and just yeah cover the base so everything is attached and uh, embedded. I love this project because it's not really hard to do it's just taking three four days to put layer by layer by layer and i will say this project took quite a lot of resin as every layer I made i mixed about five to six hundred grams of resin and yeah so here I'm just a little bit trying to mix the resin so it bit blends in and make sure that all the rocks have been covered and I'll go over with my heat gun as well to blend better the resin and uh, to pop the bubbles. So this is the next day and once again these are my resin tints and I'll just quickly show how I mix my sea watercolors. I like to uh, mix blues and involve a bit green, maybe a bit of yellow and yeah mix together and see if it comes out the right shade the right opacity I think it's a word opacity so just add 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 until you are happy and then you can pour and here we go pouring time again and I did quite a lot of uh, sped up action in this video because literally it's just pouring and pouring and pouring.
and this is again next day I am mixing my resin colors to pour a new layer of water And this one finally is the last layer that I'm pouring. I'm gonna spend quite a lot of time on it just to spread equally out. And then also I mix a little bit of white and I'll be adding some white to create wave impression. The idea for me was to try to keep uh, quite light this uh, white pigment slash wave because I didn't want that it is uh, it gets like overpowering. And my grand finale are these two little tiny kayaking people that I am inserting in this uh, seascape. I was thinking, because usually people add sharks or some fish, but I decided to add these little kayaking people. And now I'm using Modge Podge and just going over the resin part. 
and the idea is to create a kind of water texture on top of this painting and as Mod Podge gonna dry off it's gonna be transparent but the texture will remain And here it is, the final result, my seascape piece is ready and I'm really happy with it and it is really really heavy as well. So here are a little bit of close up for you just to take it all in. And I hope you like it. I absolutely love it and I'm so proud that I did create it. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying bye-bye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.